Nigerians greet their day with the kind of news some other West African nations can only wish to hear. Their country is now officially Ebola-free. The World Health Organization says there have been no new cases of the deadly virus in 42 days, well over the 21-day incubation period for the illness. Nigeria is now free of Ebola virus transmission. A Liberian diplomat unwittingly brought Ebola to Nigeria in July. Some 300 people were in direct or indirect contact with him, and several people became infected, including some of his own health care workers. In the capital, Lagos, teeming with its 21 million people, an uncontained Ebola outbreak could have easily turned into a nightmare scenario. But Nigeria used a health tracking system already in place for polio and located the hundreds of people potentially in contact with patient zero. Mobile technology provided those people with live updates, and volunteers reached out to some 26,000 households living near the contacts of the other Ebola patients. This is a spectacular success story that shows to the world that Ebola can be contained. But we must be clear that we only won a battle. The war will only end when West Africa is also declared free of Ebola. The virus has already killed over 4,500 people and is still ravaging other parts of West Africa and now threatening the U.S. and Spain.